Tuesday, September 29th. Uh, that's understandable. I hope you have fun with your parents until Chinese New Year. Yeah, Fickle, how's it going? Doing well, staying with my parents for the next month until Chinese New Year. Not sure how often I will go outside because of Omicron. Who vows to stop major hospitals? Oh, sorry. Who vows to stop major hospitals selling Fury sed uh, sedative illegally? Coachella, Couchella, sorry, 2020. 10 reasons why you should go. Sports, tournament, and space might be only a few decades away. He never really changed. I know, but, it w but I was surprisingly nice. Chatting up with people from back then. Uh, thank you for forcing me to do it. Don't mention it. Hey, duo, I'd like to order again. The usual, back to the experiment? Yes, I think the last one was the remedy, but there's no harm in checking some other combinations. All right, you know what to do. Am I actually doing a different combination? I thought he wanted the same thing. What was it? Tea, lemon, and ginger? What? Why can't I remember what the hell it is? We have a new thing over here. I've been to Couchella since March 2020, right? I'm down for Couchella. All the couches. Bailey, what do we got over here? Freelance designer, museums, and art gallery frequenter, art school graduate, will draw and design for food and shelter. Punk, been listening to Pumpkin Spice since I was a wee lad. What am I doing with my life? Escaping bloodlines, experiencing life one color at a time. One day I will have my own solo exhibition. Um, work, I work retail. I don't get, I don't get to do Couchella very often. That sucks. I think he says he wants the same thing in a different order each time, but he, no, but he wants the same thing, right? He just wants tea, milk, and ginger. Because if I do tea, ginger, and milk, it's something different. Tea, ginger, and milk is something completely different. See, ginger milk tea. Not the right thing. Oh, there you go. Stop it. I did. I trashed 25 drinks, so I don't need to do that anymore. Tea, milk, ginger. Serve it up. Try this. Great, thank you. It's the same thing over and over. Just what I needed. What about you, Mr. Hyde? What would you like to order? Would you like to order anything else? I'm good for now. I couldn't help overhear you both. It sounds like you two go way back. We do, I guess. He was my bodyguard. Oh, didn't you meet here? Yeah, when this was a bar. What happened exactly? He was getting his ass kicked by a couple of dwarves. Ugh, those two bastards. It wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires supposed to be, you know, tough? Just because I'm a vampire, it doesn't mean I know kung fu. Besides, I'd ha I'd had a couple of drinks. I could have I could have taken them both if I was sober. A couple? Really? You were trash tied. You told them I was your bodyguard. Wait, were you not his bodyguard? Not at the time. We didn't even know each other. But because of that whole fiasco, we both got kicked out. And then this wasted vampire stuck to me. Like, well, you know, to a blanket. Obviously, he was too drunk to drive. So I hailed the cab. Turns out he was also too drunk to tell the driver where he lived. And I was stuck with him until morning. <laughs> Thanks for not leaving me on the street, Gala. Those dwarves could have killed me. Who were they? Not going to confirm or deny anything, but it's possible they have had ties to the Mafia. And I might have lost some of their money on the stock market. A lot of their money. Yikes. They wanted me to launder their dirty money. So I decided to screw them over instead. Yeah, I overheard what they were talking about before the fight started. I knew Hyde was innocent, and that's why I helped him. He might be an annoying asshole, but he's not a thief. What a stroke of luck. The universe sending me a guardian angel in my time of need. The next morning, I offered him a job as my bodyguard for real. After all the trouble you caused me that night before, hey, I took you for breakfast. Don't tell me that counted for nothing. I have to say, it wasn't my proudest moment. I was broke. Breakfast was an offer I couldn't refuse. 
It was the late 60s, mind you. Uh, it wasn't easy finding a job, especially for people like me. Werewolves? War veterans. Ah, I see. So how did you go from working as a bodyguard to working in the hospital, Gala? Well, when he was working with me, I noticed. Hide. I'd prefer it if we skip that part. I'm sorry, but I don't want to go into any details about it. It's all right. Forgive me for asking. I don't mind telling you the quick and dirty version. Long story short, he helped me with something. Let's just say something from my past. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life. Helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a veteran werewolf to become a nurse or a doctor. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So you could say I owe this guy my life. Thanks to his stubborn persistence in helping me when I needed it. Thank you for sharing your story with me. I didn't expect such a tale from you. I know. Anyway, duo. I like to order something now. What would you like? Can you make tea-based drinks that warm and cool at the same time? A tea-based drink that warms and cools at the same time? Do I have anything specifically in my brew pad already? Probably not. Tea that warms and cools. Yo, Neri! A sexy mofo barista as well. What's up, Neri? How you doing? Thank you very much. For those 11 months, I really appreciate it. How you doing, man? Minty latte? I don't know if I have... Oh, I have mint. I have mint. That's a good one, Fickle. I just got mint. Neri, thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate it. You're almost at the full year. You almost got a new plat. How you doing, Neri? I hope you're having a good day so far. Uh, Neri, you've got your first ticket in the new cross-stitch giveaway. I'm doing really good. So let's see. Tea. Um, but what would I put... So what would I put with the mint? I put tea already. So I need tea and I need cooling. Oh shit, okay, so that puts there. Tea-based drink that warms and cools at the same time. Now the thing is, that gives a lot of cool. So do I put more tea? It gives more warm. Tea, mint, tea, or do I do tea, tea, mint? Tea, lemon, and mint is good together. Maybe we'll try that. That's mint tea. Is mint tea good? Is that what he wants? Do I try the lemon? Should be good. Serve it up, warm and cool. Here's your order. Exactly what I wanted, nice. Good job, guys. By the way, it feels like this place is missing something today. Yeah, I haven't seen her today. There's Freya. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hello, good people. And one vampire. Hey, it's good to see you too, Freya. By the way, we were just talking about you. Oh, really? What about me? I was just surprised that you weren't here. Is that how you pick up girls young enough to be your granddaughter? That won't work on me. Hey, I'm not, I'm, I, I have no interest in flirting with you. I've got high standards, you know. <laughs> you, you look so tired, Freya. Hard work at hard days at work? Um, how could you tell? Call it werewolf senses. Right. I showed Duo my draft, and I actually got some good feedback. That's good to hear. Glad I could help. So I spent the whole day rewriting stuff, and I also did some stories for the paper. Overall, it was a good day. That's good to hear. But please don't forget to take a break. It's easy to get carried away by work when you're on a roll. Will do, sir. And speaking of hospitals, how is your hospital admin life going? It's not even a word, Freya. That's not even a word. Actually, I'm not sure... I'm not even sure what you even do there. Mmm... It's pretty boring to talk about, but mostly I handle operational stuff happening in the hospital. Things like how much a specialist costs and how much it affects our income. I also deal with patients and their families, if they require intensive care, such as operations, I go through what we do and how much it would cost them. Kind of like biz dev for people's lives then? You could say that. Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. That's why I'm suited for my job. Someone who gets very emotionally attached to patients would find this job pretty tough. 
whereas heartless people like my friend here only see it from a business perspective. <laughs> Good point. Why do people rarely talk about your kind of job? I guess most people don't really notice we exist or think about the necessity of it. Exactly, it's an interesting job yet no one talks about it. Maybe because most admins are just like me. We rarely talk about work outside of the hospital. Why? For me, I just don't find any reason to. It's the patient's personal lives anyway. Such professionalism and loyalty. You should keep hold of that mindset, especially in front of this lady here. You. He needs to be, he needs, he needs to be a bit less loyal though. Hide. You've been doing this job for a while, right? Almost 50 years now. Whoa, I didn't know that. Wait, 50 years in the same position? Uh-huh. Holy, ask for a promotion, man. They keep offering me new positions, mostly managerial. Take it. Not interested. Why? It's not something I want. Besides, as I've told you before, I fit perfectly in this position. But the salary must be better if you take the promotion, right? Of course. But what I get at the moment is more than enough for me right now. And I still get raises while I'm doing this job. I really can't figure you out. Thanks for uh, thanks Gala for you. Oh, sorry, that's Gala for you. Anyway, my shift's starting soon. It was nice catching up with both of you. Are you going to stay hide? Yeah, I'm still enjoying the vibes here. I'll see you in a few weeks, I guess. Yep. Safe trip. See you around, duo. And you, Freya. See you. Take care on your way. He looks like he has such a long neck. Look at uh, look at Hyde. His neck is massive. You know, it's kind of hard to believe. Someone like Gala could be your best friend. We were just talking about that before you arrived. Oh, really? Man, I missed an interesting story. So how'd you guys meet? Seriously, I have to retell the story? Yes. Come on, you're not going anywhere, right? Huh? All right, then. We met in this place back when it was a bar. And he goes into the story, we come back. Whoa! I never knew Gala used to be in the army. I mean, he's got the build to be on the front line. Still though, why did he make the jump from... How should I say this? A very physical job to medic. Well, he's not comfortable talking about it right now. But you know why, right? Are you trying to squeeze the story from me? Obviously, come on. He doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Seriously, Freya. Come on. Don't push him. I won't get into details. But going to war, it messes with your head. Oh. You see why Gala doesn't want to talk about it, huh? I don't get it, but it must be difficult, especially back then. The only thing he was confident in was his strength. So he only did work that relied on his muscle. That's why that wouldn't help him get over his trauma though, right? Of course not. But it was the only thing he could do. Or at least it's the only thing he thought he could do. But you hired him for his muscle. Hey, I didn't know about all that at the time. Besides, he's good at being a bodyguard. And we weren't that close yet. So no personal feelings. I needed his strength. And then I got to be interested in him. Interested. I think he's a cool person. That's all. And after a few months, I noticed his problem. I suggested he talk about it with someone, seek help, which he refused. No surprise there, but I, I kind of pushed him to do it. How? It's complicated. Eventually, he did, go to get, he did go to get professional help. Of course, I have no idea what happened in his therapy sessions, but in the end, he found a new purpose in his life. He quit working for me, and not so long after that, he started working at the hospital. And he's been working, and he's work. he's been work. Oh, here we go. The spaceman's back. Mr. Spaceman, good evening, everyone. Yo, safe haven. We are bow ties a little shifted. Yeah, I know. It, 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 it does do that. It does do that. How you doing, safe haven? <clears throat> Let people keep their stories. That's rude. I know, right, Chi-Chi? Oh, boy. Good evening. It's nice to see you again. We are also glad to see you, Brista. 
By the way, I didn't catch your name the last time you visited. Do you have a name? Name? We sure have. We are all friends. We've met everyone. On Earth, please call us Neil. Neil Armstrong? Neil. Yes. Neil. Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. Due to the nature of our communication, we do not really need trivial things like names to interact. But from what we have learned here, it seems like the name Neil has a lot of associations with Earthling efforts in intergalactic exploration. Neil before Zod, oh my god. Ah, I get what you mean. I believe we did not meet the last time we were here. I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. So hello, my name is Freya. You could say I'm a regular here. And you, sir? Hide. You come here often? Uh, for someone who doesn't live in Seattle yet? Yeah. Oh, you are not from around here? Neither are we. How do you come? Where do you come from? Far away. By far away, you mean a few thousand miles or more? More. Much more. More to the point that your strange calculation system means nothing. That sounds far away indeed. What are you doing here in Seattle? And do all your kind dress like this? Oh, this? We choose this appearance based on an image we saw. We first, uh, when we first arrived. Image. Ah, the Aramie Ju Jendru album cover. No wonder you look familiar. As for what we are doing, this place is really the perfect spot to practice our communication skills with Earthlings. But before that, please let us order something from the barista. What do you want to drink tonight? The usual. That is how you say it, right? Yes. So, anything? Yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyway. You really can't taste anything. Yes. What if I can brew a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting premise. But we doubt you will be able to do that. Challenge accepted. Please surprise us. So I'm trying to do something that he feels? As much spice as possible. Is that is that what we could possibly do? Does anyone know exactly what I need to do? It's a very specific one. we got the supermodel here. Uh, favorite thing, the fact I've been blood sober for 10 years now. Blood sober. Uh, what am I doing with my life? Currently a model, past stock trader, entrepreneur, venture capitalist. And then we have Neil over here. We don't know anything about him yet. Okay, what can we do with the brew pad? If I need him to feel something. Um, a British chocolate, extremely popular in the 90s. Oh, warm bo boost made of from Indonesia. I'm not sure. What can we give him that he might feel something? Masala chai, tea, ginger, and cinnamon. That could be very spicy. Milk, honey, mint. That's what he wants, Shay. You just looked it up. Thank you. Mint, honey, milk, honey, and mint. I, w I wonder why that. Milk, honey, mint. Thanks for the tip, Shay. Appreciate it. I was I would have went with like ginger and cinnamon. The Milky Way, that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. Serve it up. Let's see, I hope I got this right. Thank you. What the? Interesting. Before you ask, yes, that's how they drink. This. What is this? We have never been able to taste anything in our life. But this, this, this is a breakthrough. We have to report immediately. Big giant head. Is that supposed to be a third rock from the sun reference? Done. Thank you so much from all of our kind. You are one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment, yes? Normally, yes. But you can't be so sure with Freya. <laughs> that definitely was the highest form of compliment. What are, what are you, Neil? Us? We are travelers. Doing our job in the space you call Milky Way. What kind of job? We are tasked with the mission to spread our seed. You really are here to find a date. All the way from the galaxy far, far away. Wow. It turns out pervs exist everywhere in the universe? <laughs> Breeders, I know, right, Cliptic? Feeling attacked, old man? Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand, but we are glad if we can make you laugh. Oh, the pleasure was mine. If I ask, uh, if I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? 
Hmm. We are sorry, but that is classified information. Aw, oh, man. The orange What's Up cosplay, how you doing? Yes, it's very orange. And I'm very, very dressed up. We are the hipster barista. How you doing, Sammy? Welcome in. Neil. But we believe it is all right to share with you tonight. Thanks to this eye-opening drink from the barista. I owe you the story. So why? Everyone, including us and you and everyone else, is tasked to keep the balance of the universe. But sometimes it is hard for some civilizations to maintain balance by themselves. Because unknown threats that are beyond each civilization power can appear. And that is where we come in. Um, I still don't see the relation between that and impregnating us. <laughs> You're quite dense, aren't you? Hey, you came here to give seeds. So a half-breed of your kind can be born on Earth. That is correct. The half-breed will be half-Earthling and half-whatever you are. Yes. Assuming that you have some powers that we can't comprehend, you're trying to make some sure Earth will have its own protector. This is 100% correct. Holy shit! You're trying to give us a superhero? Yes, that is what your people will call the protector. But why go through all the hassle? It sounds like a lot of work. Why not just explain this to someone? I'm sure a lot of women wouldn't mind giving birth to a superhero. Sadly, it is not that simple. The future protector has to be someone that loves this planet more than anything. They have to be born out of love, which, which we have learned. It's a very complicated feeling on Earth. We have it easier back home due to nature of communication. We understand everyone deeply by default. Yo! Yo, 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 ribs! Welcome in, how you doing? You're doing great, Sammy, just got the keys to my new place. Yo, congratulations, that's awesome, Sammy. I hope the move goes well. Um, welcome in, everyone. How you go? How you guys doing? Welcome in, Lambda, Shayami, Ravi, Jam, Pasta, Mrs. Brainbow, Neary, Ribs, Full Ride, everyone popping in on the Ribs Raid. If you guys don't know me, I'm Duo, the hipster barista today. I got orange hair, I've got a, a nice little bow tie, got some suspenders, and we are all decked out in the ridiculousness of Coffee Talk. It's a really cool game. I love the universe they created. The writing is really fun. Um, they've got some really interesting stories mixed with fantasy twists in a modern setting. It's really cool. Um, but if you don't know me, I'm Duo. We play all the games. We get all the trophies. I'm going to be starting The Witcher 3 in the new year, dressed like Dandelion the entire time. Hopefully, we're going to be starting on Monday, if not Wednesday, hopefully next week, maybe the week after. But I'm going to try and get this plat today. I was, I was hoping to get it by now, but it looks like it's taken a lot longer because people that have the estimated of how long it takes to get the plat for this basically skip all the dialogue, which is a disservice to this game because honestly, it's a really, it's a lot of fun, but there are too many hunters out there that just want the plat. But um, if anyone here does not know Ribs, definitely go check him out. He's an awesome dude. He's a great streamer. He does dye his hair quite frequently and he actually dyes it. Like he'll bleach it, he'll dye it, and that shit stays. This is just water soluble. So I'm gonna take a shower, it's gonna leave. But uh, Ribs, he does art streams, he does retro streams. He hunts achievements, trophies, steam stuff. He plays everything and he does not shy away from his challenge. Definitely go check out Ribs if you get a chance and he's a good friend too. Um, Ribs, how you doing? Welcome in, it's nice to see you. The Protector. How was your stream? What were you up to today? Can we get a little shout out for ribs? Def the most inspired to use that dye? Yo, Curb, if you want to do a dye hair dye stream, definitely check out Mofa Jang. Very good. You finished another doodle. Okay, perfect. I posted the Duopolis if you want to check it out and share with the peeps. So ribs has been working on... Ribs has been doing... Uh, he had a charity stream a long time ago. Oh my god. He did a charity stream a while ago and... Um, uh, everyone that donated got little doodles and so he wrote he did this one for mrs. Brainbow or fidgety It's their cat Nina and with the nice little brainbow in the background. It's a really cute one. Love it ribs Super super cute It's for both of you, okay So right now we have an alien from a different planet that wants to spread his seed onto earthlings So that it will create a superhero. That's where we're at right now Is a very hell of a sentence uh, so everyone on our planet loves each other from the moment they're born. That sounds beautiful and creepy. Why? It sounds like your planet is a giant spherical orgy. <laughs> 
That was a badly chosen word. But it is a roughly similar to the truth. Oh my. If what you say is true, shouldn't we help them to get laid with love? Shouldn't we help them to get laid with love? Guidance is all we need. Otherwise, we might be responsible for the birth of a super evil person instead. Well, how is the mission going so far? We cannot say it is going well. I'm not surprised. With how quick, uh, quirky and unique you are, not many women can handle that. Could you handle them though? Me? I don't know. What do you think? You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't be surprised if you decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further if it got you a good story. <laughs> oh, you're not offended by that? Not in the slightest. You're wrong though. I'd go on a date with them, but I don't like to sleep around. Really? To be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, miss. Uh, from what we gather, does it mean you are willing to breed with us in exchange for our stories? Wow, no wonder your mission didn't go well. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner in exchange for stories, but I'll only sleep with someone I'm serious about. But our mission is serious. It's not that. You either have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. We have heard of those terms before. Let us check them once again. <laughs> this is... This is very strange. According to what we found, many Earthlings mate with one person exclusively, 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 my god, I can't say that word, for their entire life. Yes, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept. Then why with such rules do you still face overpopulation problems? Hmm. Now that you mention it, we don't have enough control of ourselves. And those in charge also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention some races live for a very, very long time. So even though there are rules about having kids and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of people still break them. We know Earthlings boost, uh, boast about the concept of free will, but we thought your kind also loves the concept of restraint and ta uh, taking care of the planet. At least that was what we gathered from your information network. Theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are stupid. That makes perfect sense. Uh, that's the easiest way to put it. We learned so much today. But we have another question for Miss Freya. Ask away. How can we become your husband? <laughs> for uh, First of all, I would suggest going step by step. Most of the time, you start by dating. Boyfriend or girlfriends, you know. Before you talk about marriage. Oh, okay. So, how can we become your boyfriend? You could start by asking her whether she's actually single. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Yes, I am single. Do you want to be our girlfriend? Please, would you like to be my girlfriend? Now? The path to starting to date varies between people. But usually, it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Wow. The breeding process on Earth is surely extremely complicated. It can be easier if you're a smooth talker. Smooth talker? Someone good at communicating with others. That would be really challenging for us. Even after that, making kids is still a totally different league. Most women prefer if it... If if uh, it, if their male partners were wear condoms, condoms, it's something you wear to prevent pregnancy. Why would you do the mating ritual if you do not want to have offspring? Pleasure. All this information is too much to process in one evening, so we t we talked about using condoms. But how do you how do your kind have sex? Like, seeing how you drink. So this guy drinks by putting his finger in a cup. He drinks from his finger like Mork and Mindy. A condom might be something you can't use at all. Hmm. That's true. Thank you, Pasta. How do you do it? We are pretty flexible with that. But we cannot tell you the details. Unless we agree to do the mating ritual? I don't want to imagine how it's done. Oh. 
You do not need to worry. We will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that, especially the mental part. We did our research, and we tried it on the testing object we made. <laughs> it was proven they made- did they make a pocket pussy and then tested on that? That's terrible. We broke Neo, we definitely did. The mental capacity of Earthlings is far more complicated than anything else on Earth, sir. Oh, we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I have to agree with that. Anyway, thank you so much for the information you have given us tonight. It means a lot for our mission. We have to report our findings to the base. How will you proceed with your mission with this newfound information? We are not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed after all. It was really nice talking with all of you. You're welcome. We are off now. Bye. Take care on your way, sir. <laughs> what is a condom exactly, Calyptic? <clears throat> Maybe I overdid the coffee? Probably. I, I've drank a lot of coffee today. That was really something. Indeed. You said the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came. And then they mistook Miss Myrtle for their date. The game developer work? Wow, I dread to think how that went. It was pretty awkward. But you can't be angry at such naivety. I guess so. By the way, has that young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? You mean L Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Oh, showing some concern now, are you? I'm just curious. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend did come a few days ago, and Freya was being pretty nosy to the point that Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my. You really have a knack for starting trouble. Sadly, I have to agree with that. It's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation, unless, it's really peaks, unless it really piques his interest, or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. Well, I need to catch a flight to Seoul, uh, Seoul, Seoul tomorrow. So I'm off for the day. Oh, you're leaving Seattle so soon? It's only for a week or so. I'll be back here sooner than you know. Oh, well, it'll be a peaceful week then. Heh. <laughs> anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. Hmm, I didn't even notice that. You really don't care about business. Uh, she didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. Heh, that's one way to put it. Anyway, Freya, do you want to share a cab? Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. All right then, see you around. Take take care on your way, folks. Another day down. Man, these things take long. Galahad, ginger chai latte. Good to calm yet warm your nerve. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or you can come check me out live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash duomtl.